Alan Adham was born in Riverside, California on September 6, 1966. By the age of three, Adham's family had moved to Westchester, California, where he attended elementary school. In the summer of 1978, Adham's parents relocated the family to Irvine, California, where they opened the Turtle Rock Preschool, till this day, one of the largest preschools in Orange County. So it's a little known secret that at the LA Unified School District, I was a very average student. In fact, uh, commonly got C's. Something happened when we moved from sixth to seventh grade. We moved from LA Unified to Irvine, and over the course of that summer, I turned into a straight A student. So I can't quite explain what it is, but something about the Irvine Unified School District for me really brought out the best in me. Adham went on to earn a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science and Engineering from the University of California at Los Angeles in 1990. In February 1991, Alan Adham co-founded Blizzard Entertainment, an internationally recognized leader in entertainment software with friends Mike Morhaime and Frank Pierce. I just thought making games would be fun and managed to talk a couple of cool guys in college into, uh, into coming on board and here, you know, we are 20 years later. I met Alan, uh, actually, my last year at UCLA. He got in his head that I should quit my job at Western Digital and go into business with him making games. Much to the chagrin of his uh, parents, his father in particular thought it was crazy to leave uh, a good job for this crazy startup with a 22-year-old kid, but I think uh, his dad knows he made the right decision now. Under their direction, Blizzard grew from a small development studio into a premier publisher of computer games with a track record that includes more than 10 number one best-selling titles and numerous Game of the Year awards. Beyond his executive responsibilities as Blizzard's president and chairman, Adham has had a direct hand in the development of each of the company's blockbuster franchises. He worked as a producer, designer, and or programmer on every game in the critically acclaimed Warcraft, Diablo, and Starcraft series, and served as lead designer for the World of Warcraft the most popular subscription-based, massively multiplayer virtual world ever created. As I think about Blizzard, where I really stood back and just sort of in awe realized Blizzard was becoming this, this thing bigger than, you know, than, than any one person. Um, the guys from South Park contacted us, and they wanted to put together an episode of South Park that sort of spoofed World of Warcraft. So we got together with them, and um, they took a bunch of footage of the game and um, modeled some of the characters in the episode after Blizzard employees. And that became their highest rated season premiere ever. So it was, it was pretty spectacular seeing a sense of, you know, it becoming something more than just uh, a video game and now crossing over into other media. In the outside world, I'm a simple geologist. But in here, I am Falcorn, defender of the Alliance. I've braved the Fargo Deep Mine, defeated the Bloodfish at Jared's Landing. Oh. Hmm. Looks like that guy just killed you. What? Why? Why? Adham left Blizzard in early 2004 to begin his second venture, Tenfold Capital Management. So what we do at Tenfold is we use computers and quantitative processes to invest in stocks and bonds, commodities and uh, debt instruments, uh, publicly traded real estate investment trusts, and we invest in those different asset classes all over the world. And, and I think the education that I had at uh, the Irvine Public Schools definitely prepared me for this second career. Um, I'm honored to be recognized as, uh, you know, somebody who's, who's taken my education and done well with it. And uh, if there's any way that I can help kind of bring that back to the Irvine School District, uh, I, I'm proud, proud of that. Please welcome your 2011 honoree for excellence in science, Alan Adham.